I must have been about 11. Um, I feel like that's the age you, well, that was the age I knew what it actually was to be like queer or like you could, yeah, mm. be something else but straight. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then I was like, wow, that's me. Wow, I've got a title, which is kind of cool. And then I told a few people and they were like, oh, cool. <laughs> I told some close friends and we kind of, yeah, we kind of chit-chatted about it together. And then I, um, I told one other girl, but she didn't have the same reaction. She was more like, oh, that's weird. A weird choice. So I kind of retracted a little bit from telling everybody. I guess most reactions are positive, which is very lucky. Um, but maybe a few weren't. And I feel like if a few aren't, then... I don't know, you listen to them more than the good ones. <laughs> I knew it was totally normal, but yet I wasn't ready to come out. <laughs> um, and I knew I would sooner or later, but I wasn't ready to come out as a teenager in high school. So I waited till I finished high school and that's when I came out. Um, well, I'm from Dunedin, so it's pretty close. Um, but I do feel like Dunedin has a lot more um, pride events to go to and a lot more celebration, I guess. I've, you know, been to a couple of fun evening events at like bars and stuff for the queer community. Um, and they usually have those on about once every two months. It's kind of geared towards uni students, but anyone can go. Um, and they're a lot of fun if you get a group of friends and go with them and they play all the gay songs. Um, but Southland, I haven't seen anything really advertised. Maybe one or two things, but nothing I've been drawn to. I feel like I don't interact too much with people from here, um, unless they're at school. And I feel like there's, well, there's a lot of creative minds at school. I feel like that's very, very more open. Well, it's really nice to feel like you can just be yourself. Yeah, it just feels great to be open. I really enjoy SIT. I enjoy Tim Shabell and his community events. Even though they're not queer related, he's still really encouraging of all the events. And it's nice to get out of the community and enjoy them. Um, I guess I hope there's more events and community events for everyone to partake in. Just lots of wholesome activities would be nice. An evening out or camping or a park event, um, parade, that would be kind of cool for everyone to enjoy and spread more awareness that way. <laughs> I just hope that Tim Shabolt stays mere forever. <laughs>